Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a set of crappy brakes using a PWM or digital speed controller and a foot pedal. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the main part I'm going to be using in this project. This is a 12 volt, 100 amp continuous, 200 amp surge PWM or digital speed controller. Now it is bi-directional and these are the components to it. This is your speed controller potentiometer and this right here is your directional switch which I will end up replacing and it's position forward, neutral or standby and then reverse and I'm going to be using the standby part of this as the off switch and it also has a little percentage power meter this is where you connect your positive and negative from the battery and your motor positive and negative negative. and what I'm going to do since I'm making dual crappy brakes I'm going to double up both trolling motors into the motor connectors right here and because it's rated for 100 amps continuous it should be just fine This is a more detailed view of the XT60 Y splitter. This right here came with a plug originally and I clipped them off and used 10 gauge wire to run it directly to the PWM and as you can see it splits off here into the two connectors for the motors and these are quick connects like this and you just plug one into each end and it doesn't matter which one it goes to since you're going to be running the motors in tandem. This is the assembled control unit and I'll show you the exterior before I go ahead and open it up and go over the interior of it. So what I have out here is of course this plain old waterproof box and there shouldn't be an issue with heat generated using this box because during testing I found that both of the motors drawing at full speed is about 50 amps which is about half of the operating current here for this PWM so everything should be fine especially since you're only using it in short bursts for braking so these are the two PG 13.5 gland nets here that are waterproof and one of them goes over here to your battery connection which has the 70 amp circuit breaker and then these connectors here so you can't confuse them and then going over to the other side here I have the Y connector for the XT60 dual motor quick connects right here and of course I'll connect these to each of the motors and this is your directional control switch here and then this is the PG11 waterproof gland nut I used to connect the three conductor wiring for the foot pedal setup. This is an interior view of the unit and as you can see here are my connections as I explained earlier and this is the wiring that used to have the 10k pot which I removed and then spliced in with the new three conductor wiring and then here this is your directional switch wiring and what I did here was there are six little screws along the perimeter of this lid and the side of this box so once you remove the screws the top will pop off and then this has a little connector inside so I just pop the connector out then I slid the wiring through the hole that I cut out for the switch and then reconnected it in there and then reassembled the top on there and that's how everything is set up this is a view of bull trolling motors in various stages of disassembly this is the stock one and then what I've done here is I've removed the six screws underneath and lifted off the top part of the head section and then I'm going to go in here 
and disconnect all the wires and the only ones that are going to be important to use are the red and the black or the positive and the negative coming out of the trolling motor shaft. Okay, I've removed the head and attached the modified trolling motor cap and you can see I have the positive and negative or the red and black wiring coming out from the shaft and I tucked in the yellow and the white wire back down into the shaft. Now I realize I've skipped some steps but I will include any related videos in the narrative section of this video. So as you see there's the cap and I've staggered the marine shrink fit butt connectors so when you put them inside your wire covering they'll fit much better and then here I've also attached the XT60 connector and I use the original wiring that came with the trolling motor. This is a view of the test setup. The two trolling motors are connected to the PWM setup which in turn is connected to the 12 volt battery and if you look down towards the center you can see the foot pedal and in order for me to run this test so you can see the props spinning what I'm going to do is pull the pedal back out of view run the test and we'll go from there everything's connected and powered up so I'm going to go ahead and run it in each direction Watch the props down at the lower portion of the screen. Now I'm going to go ahead in the opposite direction. So you can see that everything works as it should and the best part of this is that you can totally control the amount of speed you want in order to reverse your boat. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.